This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. What was supposed to be one of the hypothetical best days of my life. I went to visit a, a meat packing plant, met a very nice gentleman, instantly turned bad. About three o'clock when I checked my phone, I had 50 missed calls from my workers at my warehouse that inspectors came in the building, seized meat from the delivery, and I have no clue what happened. I'm six hours into Pennsylvania. I gotta take a flight back. to. I just got back at 8 p.m. after waking up at 4 a.m. this morning, spending all day on planes, all day on the farm. The worst, head, one of the worst headaches I've ever had. First thing I had to drive over to my warehouse and see what happened. And let me tell you, I wrote a script about this landlord last week and I was refraining from making the video, but this, I, I don't get it. So, someone at the trucking company must have tipped them off. It's just too many coincidences. The day I was getting the delivery of the hot dogs, the sauces, the eggs from the Amish farm, USDA inspector shows up with a search warrant. With a search warrant. The, like, too, way too many coincidences. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what's going on, but this is unbelievable. They came in my building because they have a search warrant. They seized whatever meat saying I can't sell it. I spend $30,000 a week on USDA certified meat from you ugly cocksuckers and this is how you fucking treat me? Why don't you go feed some feedlot garbage fucking beef to some little kids so they'll play with you, huh? I'm so fucking sick of this shit. I can rebrand to Frankie's Free Range Dog Food, mark not for sale on anything, and sell bulls balls mixed with fucking shit and blood and my customers will still buy it because they know it's better than the shit you scumbags are selling. I am so fucking disgusted. It is unfucking believable And now that I got this USDA inspector up my ass, it doesn't matter if I have $300,000 of USDA certified meat in my freezer. These cocksuckers are gonna be up my fucking ass for the rest of my fucking life as long as I'm in the meat business. State of New York, Supreme Court, County of Albany, inspection warrant, Frankie's free range meat. This fucking, I, look, I'm, as much as I shouldn't be, I'm a gentleman. I'm not gonna name this judge. I'm not gonna name this cocksucker fucking inspector, cause you know who you are. Understood, but refused to sign. My guys don't speak fucking English, you dipshit. They're from Mexico, have you heard of it? Holy fuck. They actually work an honest living. Notice of inspection. New York State Department of Agriculture and Markets. And I know it was my landlord, because he sent these guys over to try to get me kicked out. So since this cocksucker can't evict me, he's trying to get my business shut down. Illegitimately. I'm not doing anything illegal. I've been operating this business for two years. I've never had anyone get sick or have any problems with any food I've been selling. This is seizure quarantine notice. New York State Agriculture and Markets. It's un unbelievable, unbelievable. And they, application for food processing establishment. We don't process food, we buy fucking meat and sell. This is unfucking believable This is so ridiculous, guys. I had the last, this is my last straw. I'm done with this shit. I'm literally making OnlyFans on Monday. That's, that's my not so great backup plan, but I'm done, guys, I'm, this is it. I'm done. I'm not doing this shit anymore. I'm, look, could I start Frankie's Strange dog food? Start shooting cows in my backyard, cutting them up and stuff? Yeah, I could do that. That's perfectly legal. Because you guys will still buy the meat, even if it's for, for dogs or your pets or whatever. That doesn't matter. So let's take a look at this script I wrote last week. I wanted to avoid making this video to maintain some sense of professionalism. Guess that's not happening. And, and, and the big reason th these companies take advantage of people is because they don't have any voice on social media. I've had people plagiarize and steal my research. Psychos infiltrate my business to steal money. Contractors scam me for dozens of thousands of dollars. YouTube didn't seem to help with that. Now I'm in all these lawsuits. Um, so this is what happened before this. He called the health department claiming I didn't have a food license. They came again today. He got the fire department in there to try to get me shut down for violating the, the ventilation. So I'm two years into a five year lease on this warehouse. I've put about $150,000 into it to run my business. And then, you know, this all started because the carpet guy next door started complaining. Again, should I name his company and get you guys calling him and make sure he gets taken down with me? I probably should. Maybe I'll do that sometime in the future because they're all working together and then when they talk to me, they come and act nice and put a fucking smile on their face. But as I've said before, 
when we're all done on this planet and you guys are burning in hell, I'm gonna be the person holding the fucking whip. Fucking assholes. And, and, you know, the, the neighbor was complaining to the building management for two, three years about the smell. But, yeah, the management rented a warehouse that has connected ventilation to a carpet company next to a meat company. Not the brightest move on their part, and their move now is to try to kick me out. So they, there was no resolution. I talked to the management company. I said, I'll pay for the HVAC fix, whatever it is. No, they just want uh, to kick me out. And I actually witnessed four people quit their jobs from this management company, Simone, Simone Development Company, two, two of my property managers quit, and there were two maintenance guys that also quit. So uh, I'm guessing unless you're a complete degenerate psychopath, you wouldn't enjoy working for Simone Development Company. And, and this, was, this was like six months to a year of me trying to get in contact with management, trying to pay my rent on time, trying to get the building issues fixed, and they, they just didn't respond to my phone calls or emails or anything. They didn't respond to anything. And now they're pulling this bullshit. It's, it's insane. It's insane. Uh, if I was smart, I would just throw in the towel and go to South Beach to play with some disgusting Spanish girls. So, when I was planning on making this video, that was a joke, but that's actually what I'm going to do now. That's actually what I'm going to do now, because I've had enough of this shit. That, today is the day, you know, <laughs> it's funny. I, I'm trying my best. I, I, I spend, did you know a flight to Pittsburgh is $600 now? How ridiculous is that? $600 round trip to Pittsburgh. I spend the whole day trying to expand my business, trying to get people quality food, and then I come back to this fucking dog shit. I haven't made a dime. I live with my fucking parents. Uh, I have like, it, it, this is, this, this is, this is, it's fucking insane. I'm dead fucking serious, guys. I'm done with this shit. We're gonna liquidate all the inventory. I'm starting OnlyFans next week. I don't give a shit. I'm done. I'm, I've had enough. I'm fucking done. If a fucking, Three titted blue skinned er, alien girl comes down tonight and tries to have sex with me. I'm gonna throw her through the fucking brick wall. That's that's the point we're at, guys. I'm fucking done with this shit. I've had enough. I don't fucking care. This is so, can I can I legitimately do that? Can I actually start Frankie's strange dog food and still sell? I could do that, but look, this is fucking ridiculous, guys. I, I was making these Amish people some good money. I literally I said it earlier. I'm paying these importers. Australia, New Zealand, Ireland, American. I'm paying so many distributors high quality USDA certified meat. 30, 40 thousand dollars worth of it a week. And this is how they fucking treat me. Ten thousand dollars a week, UPS shipping. Twenty thousand dollars a month on fucking styrofoam coolers. I spend so much fucking money and I'm gonna have the biggest goddamn smile on my face as soon as I cut all you cocksuckers out. Cause I don't care about money and you fucking do. And I've had enough of it.